Something that can often be annoying or you know, just take a lot of time to produce can be the icons that you would use for your applications. So if I go to my assets here, you can see that currently I don't have, if I click on app icon, I don't have any icons in here and I have to supply you know, these pixel sizes for all these different versions. And that can be time consuming and tedious. Well, there's an easier way. There's an app that I found on the set app service. And if you're interested in more about that, you can go to peterwidham.com forward slash set app. And let me show you how it works here, right? So I'm gonna pull this application up called Asset Catalog Creator Pro. And what you do, I've got this little demo icon here that I've created, it is not, fantastic in any way but you can see it's a png file with some alpha some text and some shapes on here just so you can see the shape of the icon and all i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop this image here onto the application and you can see that depending on what i select here i can get previews of what i'm going to create so there is an awful lot of options i'll go through some of them quickly like this one here the launch screen you can see it shows me how it's gonna look if I use it as a launch screen and I can set, you know, stretched, scaled, fitted, and so on and so on. And I can set all those settings in here, including a background color. I can see, you know, what it looks like with the black and the white devices. So that's all great. Now I'm gonna go over to the app icon here and I'm gonna look at some options. So on iOS, I've got the app icon. This is the one that I wanna use. I can do it for the other platforms here as well, as you can see. And I'm gonna leave it as it is here. Uh, there are size variations. You can also do batch as well, but I'm just gonna take this single image and then I'm gonna click output directory. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on my desktop here. And I'm just gonna say save as output directory so you can see what happens. It's gonna say, hey, look, you know, you've got some, some things here already, multiple existing asset catalogs found. Uh, the reason being is I've got my demo application here on the desktop as well. I'm just gonna say, you know what, just create a new catalog. And that's what I'm gonna do there. And then now finally, I'm gonna say, it's gonna warn me and say my image has a transparent background. That's fine for what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna hit create asset catalog. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. When it does that, it's gonna pop this open here for me and show me in the finder. And then it's gonna give me instructions on how to add this to my asset catalog, which is all very straightforward, right? You can see, you can follow these instructions here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna hide this application. And let me just show you, right? So I've got this assets catalog. It's gonna be familiar to you. It's got the JSON file and all the different sizes of those images beautifully created for me automatically. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this. So I'm gonna go to Xcode. The, you know, the other way you can do it, in fact, I'll do it this way and I'll show you, right? So I'm in Xcode, I've got the app icon here. And as you as you noticed, you know, I've already got an assets catalog. So I can just go back up to the icon demo folder here. Just gonna move this around to make some space. And I'm gonna just drag and drop that over there like that into the icon demo folder. It's gonna say, you know, copy the items if needed, add them to the targets, and I'm just gonna go finish. Now, when I do that and I click on assets, you can see that I've now got two, right? I've got this new one that I've created here, which is the one I just dropped in with all of my icons, with all of the file, the sizes that I need and all the files. And then of course, I've got the original one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this one. And I'm just gonna say, just move it to the trash, right? So now that I've got it here with my icons, as you can see, I've already got it there created. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a device. Let's do an iPhone 8. And I'll run this in the simulator to show you that you're now gonna have this beautiful new icon for all of these sizes that you need just with the, using that one application from the set app service. It'll take a couple of seconds to run here. All right, so it's running here on my iPhone 8 simulator. Obviously it's just showing the hello world in the application, but if I go to the home screen, you're gonna see Look, there is my beautifully rendered out icon there that I added via the application. So that's how simple and how easy it is using that application to take care of a lot of the problems for you. Like I say, you can do all the platforms, uh, launch images and a bunch of other stuff with it. If you're interested, go to peterwidham.com forward slash setapp and it'll tell you about the setapp service where you can get this application 
plus at this point over 200 more. Um, I think it's $10 a month if I remember rightly. And I use the service. I thoroughly recommend it and endorse it, especially for developer tools like this, where it just makes life so quick and simple and I can just get on with building my application. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, like, subscribe, let me know in the comments. I will speak to you next time.